Hi, Remnants. Hi, Emma. Hi, girls. Hi, Zaya. Hi, Benji. Today, we don't have any lyrics for praise, so we're going to see how much praise we memorized with our heads. Can we do that? Can we sing without lyrics today? Okay. We're going to sing our first song all together, Amazing Grace. So as we think about these lyrics, let's sing. Okay, let's all get ready. Let's all sit up straight. Get ready to praise. That's right, Tzorin. It's that song. So let's sing Amazing Grace all together. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved, that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see amazing grace. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, I once was lost. But now I'm found, was blind, but now I see my chains are gone. My chains are gone, I've been set free, my God, my Savior has ransomed me, and like a flood, and like a flood, your mercy reigns, your mercy reigns, unending love, unending love, amazing grace, amazing grace, from the top, amazing grace, amazing grace, how sweet the sound, sweet the sound, that saved a wretch, that saved a wretch, like me, I once was lost, I once was lost, but now I'm found, but now I'm found, was lost, was blind, but now I see my chains are gone, my chains are gone, I've been set free, my God, my Savior, my God, my Savior, has ransomed me and like a flood, and like a flood, his mercy reigns, unending love, unending love, amazing grace, amen. Let's sing our next song all together, I'm a child of God. Can I have someone come up and help me do body worship? Let's see who's going to come up. <gasps> Benji. <laughs> Benji looked away. How about Emma? Emma, can you come help me? Okay. Emma, can you come up on stage? Okay, let's all stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Okay. Let's sing. I'm a child of God all together. Ready? I'm a child of God. I'm a covenant kid. I'm a child of God, believing in his promises. I'm a child of God. I'm a child of God. I'm a covenant kid. I'm a child of God, believing in his promises. Jesus, Jesus forgives my sin. Jesus, he's always leading me. Jesus answers my prayer. Jesus gives me victory. I'm a child of God. I'm a covenant kid. I'm a child of God, believing in his promises. Jesus, Jesus forgives my sins. Jesus, he's always leading me. Jesus answers my prayers. Jesus gives me victory. I'm a child of God. I'm a 
covenant kid. I'm a child of God, believing in his promises. Let us rejoice. Let us rejoice and be glad. Giving the glory to him. And for the marriage of the Lamb has come. And his bride has made herself. Let us rejoice and be glad. Let us rejoice and be glad. Giving the glory to him. For the marriage of the Lamb has come. And his bride has made herself ready. Hallelujah. Hallelujah for the Lord our God, the Almighty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah for the Lord our God, the Almighty. Let us rejoice. Let us rejoice and be glad. Giving the glory to him. For the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made herself ready. Hallelujah. Hallelujah for the Lord our God, the Almighty reign. Hallelujah for the Lord our God, the Almighty reign. Thank you, Emma. Thank you, everyone. Let's all have a seat. Let's sing our next song all together. I know that I am a who? Who am I? I know that I am a child of God. Let's sing this next song all together. I know that I am a child of God. There is nothing that I need. There is nothing that I need to fear. He has broken all the chains of Satan. How I really love my Jesus. From the beginning, I know that. I know that I am a child of God. There is nothing that I need. There is nothing that I need to be. He has broken all. He has broken all the chains of Satan. How I really love my Jesus. Oh, when I say my prayers, he will always hear. How I want to share his love with you. Oh, I know I'm a winner just because I know Jesus is a Christ, the Son of God. Let's sing it in Korean. 나는, 나는, 나는 하나님의 자녀. 아무것도 두렵지 않아요. 사단 권세 깨뜨리신 주님. 예수님이 제일 좋아요. 랄라 기도하지요. 응답받지요. 예수님을 증거합니다. 랄라 승리했어요. 주는 그리스도. 살아계신 하나님의 아, one last time. I know that. I know that I am a child of God. There is nothing that I need. There is nothing that I need to be. He has broken all. He has broken all the chains of Satan. How I really love my Jesus. Oh, when I say my prayers, he will always hear. How I want to share his love with you. Oh, I know I'm a winner just because I know Jesus is the Christ, the Son. I know I am. I know I am in the Lord, in the Lord. And he is in me too. He will guide. He will guide. He will watch. He will watch over my life, over my life. Always in this world, many people in this world. Many people just live in pain. And my God is wanting me to bring them all to him. I know I am. I know I am in the Lord. And he is in me too. He will guide. He will guide. He will watch over my life, over my life, always in this world, in this world. Many people just live in pain, and my God is, and my God is wanting me to bring them all to Him. Amen. 
Um, the next praise that we're going to sing all together is John 14, 6. What officer of Christ does John 14, 6 represent? Does anybody know? Is it true king, true prophet, or true priest? Super close, not true king. Is it true prophet or true priest? Super close, it's not true priest. What's, what's, the, what's the one more? There we go, true prophet. <laughs> Let's sing this next song all together, John 14, 6. Jesus answered, I am the way, I am the truth and the life. I am the way, truth and life. No one comes to the Father except through only me. There's no other way to Jesus answered. Jesus answered, I am the way, I am the truth and the life. I am the way, truth and life. No one comes to the Father except through only me. There's no other way to meet God. Oh, 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 I want to give my praise to Jesus is the way in life. Oh, 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 I want to give my praise to Jesus. He's the truth and life. Yeah. Jesus answered, I am the way, I am the truth and the life. I am the way, truth, and life. No one, no one comes to the Father except through only me. There's no other way to let's sing it from the top one more time. Jesus answered, I am the way, I am the truth and the life. I am the way, truth, and life. No one comes to the Father except through only me. There's no other way. Oh, 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 I want to follow my Lord Jesus, who is the way to life. Oh, 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 I want to give my praise to Jesus. He's the truth and life. Yeah, Jesus answered, I am the way, I am the truth and the life. I am the way, truth and life. No one comes to the Father except through only me. There's no other way to meet God. Amen. Let's sing our last song all together. God is so... God is so good. That, that's right. God is so good. So let's sing this last praise all together. Ready? We all know the lyrics to the song, right? It's just God is so good. Okay. Ready? God is so good. Hallelujah. God is so good. Hallelujah. God is so good, he's so good to me. I only hear Isaiah. God is so good, hallelujah. God is so good, hallelujah. God is so good, he's so good to me. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name, bless his holy name. Name. Bless the Lord, Lord, oh my soul. God is so good. God is so good. Hallelujah. God is so good. Hallelujah. God is so good he's so good to me amen 
Let's all have a quick prayer before we begin. Let's all fold our hands, close our eyes. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for gathering all your precious remnants in person and online for the time of worship. Help us to focus only on you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Can we all please take out our prayer books and our Apostles' Creed, please? Okay, we're going to read or say the Apostles' Creed all together in one voice. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. I believe in God the Father Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. In Jesus Christ's name we pray, amen. As we wait for Teacher Jen, let's all take out, does everybody have our Sunday message notes? Yes. Okay. Let's read, read your Sunday message notes. Let's read over our prayer book as we quietly meditate before Teacher Jen comes. You don't have it? Okay, let's do a different one. Who remembers what t Sunday's message title was? That teacher. Ooh, Ephesus, which was conquered and advice, is correct. How about the Bible verse? Acts 19. What's the number after 9? 20. Ooh, Acts 19, 20. That's right. Okay, does everybody remember our prayer topics that we wrote? Okay. That's perfect. I know that Sajin has his checklist. Emma's reading over her prayer book, our prayer journal. Let's all sit down. Let's sit down. Sit up straight. Take out your writing utensils, your notebooks, your Bibles. So let's get ready to worship. Just like spiritual summits, let's wait. Benji's reading his prayer book. Sajin's reading his Bible. About to read his Bible. Emma's reading her prayer journal. Was reading her prayer journal. Lydia's praying, meditating with the skills of her eyes open. Isaiah and Ava are sitting very quietly waiting for Teacher Jin. Thank you.
while we wait, I'm going to be reading some of our prayer topics that we had for Sunday. Caleb, Caleb's prayer topic was to know Ephesus, which conquered in advance, to have some time for summit time, to be like Paul, who enjoyed in advance, to know how I can really help someone put 393 into action for the future, to hold on to 138, 237, world evangelization, Jesus' life, power, healing, and witness. Addison, Addie's prayer topic was to know Ephesus, which conquered in advance, to have summit time and know the difference between sanctification and justification, to have the answers in advance, and to have and conquer the forces of darkness, to be the spiritual summit. Emma Grace Jung. Emma's prayer topic was to have summit time, to have the answers in advance like Paul, to know that going to school is for evangelism and missions, and to give someone spiritual help. Emma's one word is hobby, that's right. Hobby is something that you like to do on your free time. Benji, next. Benji's prayer topic is to have summit time, to know that we are being bar Jesuses if we block out the truth, to know if we really have the Holy Spirit, we can heal in ways unimaginable, to stay brave for the sake of the gospel and to know that God placed me as a missionary just like Paul. To know that church always comes first, like Paul. Benji, do you remember what your one word was? It starts with an E. Ever going. Okay, so right now, Sajin is reading his Bible. Benji is looking over his notes. Addie's reading the scripture, Sunday scripture. Uh, Sajin is reading her prayer book. Lydia is also reading her message notes. I meant Bible. If we don't know what to read, we can read our Sunday passage, Acts chapter 19. Okay, Jesus life, Jesus power, Jesus healing, and Jesus witness. Platform watch tower, antenna, raise a banner for the nations. That's why I was late. I was raising a banner for the nation. Jesus life, Jesus power, Jesus healing, Jesus witness. Covenant, hold on to the word and pray. Restoration to Christ. Platform, pass through the gates. Prepare the way, build up the highway. Remove the stones of unbelief. Raise a banner for the nations. Of Jesus, our salvation. Watchtower. God posted us as the watchmen on the walls. Never silent, day or night. No rest. Give God no rest. Antenna. Communicate with God as his holy people. Redeemed of the Lord. Sought after. City no longer deserted. Blessing of 24. Past, present, future. I-24. Church 24 and Field 24. 
Schicke, schicke, schicke. Hüpp, 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 hüpp. And this message is 393 into action. My daily portion. Today's portion. Five, four, three, nine, three. 393 into action. My daily portion. There's stuff I got to do today, right? Hey, long time no see. What's up? Daily portion. Acts 19, 8 and 20. I forgot my Bible. Yeah, how does that attract me? I'm here. You bunch of hippos. I'm here, right? You should be thankful I'm here instead of complaining. Why am I late? How rude. Mommy, whoops, at home. Daddy. I forgot my. It's in my bag. It's in my bag. All right, verse 8. It says, Paul entered the synagogue and spoke boldly there for three months, arguing persuasively about the kingdom of God. And verse 20. In this way, the word of the Lord spread widely and grew in power. Today's lesson objective to put my daily 393 portion into action. Five, four, Three, nine, three, into action. To put my daily 393 portion into action. Sit up straight. Something's missing. Smells clean. Oh, well, Banshee's not here. <laughs> Moving on. How rude. Daily to dos. Like, there's stuff we need to take care of every single day, right? Like a daily routine, daily to do. What do I do every single day? Coffee. I drink coffee. Nosebleed. All right, there's stuff we need to do every single day, right? For example, people make their beds every single day. I don't know why they did that. Anyways, that's a daily routine, right? You make your bed. What else do people do? What's a daily routine? I drink a coffee in the morning. Oh, that is pretty creepy. I never noticed the face. If I look at that. Good morning. Yeah, daily coffee. What else do people do? Their daily exercise. Weak sauce. Toilet paper workout. Yeah, we do our daily what? Push-ups, pull-ups, stretching, daily stretching. Benji does his daily toe touches. Ellie does her daily 1,000 push-ups. What else do people do, right? Some people try to walk like 10,000 steps every single day. And their, their what is it, Fitbit, their watch, they, it tracks it. It tracks 10,000 steps a day. Some people need to run, what, two miles a day, five miles a day. Some people need to do that every single day. It's their daily routine. What else do people do every single day? I don't know. Oh, daily crossword puzzle. You know how like old people, they get their newspaper, super old people, and they do their crossword puzzle, right? Or, or for you guys, Wordle, New York Times, Wordle every single day. Yeah, I do that too. Today's word was? Creek. 
It was creek. All right. What else do people do? They do their, they learn one new word every single day. Right? Today's word was creek. No. That's Merriam-Webster. That's Merriam-Webster. Right? They learn a new word every single day. You guys read the dictionary? You could learn a new dictionary word every single day. Or some people, they learn a new language, like a new word in a different language every single day. No. Hello. Ciao. Gadag. Zdravo. Right? You learn a new word every single day. What else do people do every single day? Who watches fishing videos every single day? Pastor Yu. <laughs> Pastor Yu loves fishing, so he watches exclusive fishing videos that you have to pay for. I just get it on YouTube. Easy. What else do people? Oh, they need to check their items on their iPad game or their smartphone game, right? They collect their items every single day. They check for new prizes every single day. You guys do that? Lounge around like this big baby. Huge baby. Hairy baby. What else do people do every single day? Oh, I need to take care of message stuff, right? It takes hours and hours taking, making this crap. Masterpiece, masterpiece. Yeah, but I need to do it a couple hours a day, right? So that I could get ready for this Wednesday worship. Yeah, like right now. What else do people do every single day? Oh. Well, do you know there's, there's this person named Larry Bird? Even before basketball practice, early in the morning, do you know how he shoots like a thousand shots every single day? But this is before practice. And then after practice, do you know what he does? He shoots another like thousand shots. And then do you, that's why he was so good. And that's, that's his daily routine, right? Even like basketball players do that. What else do people do every single day? Some people try to drink one gallon of water every single day, two gallons of water, three gallons of water, four gallons of water every single day. It's their mission. Like some people, you see them walking around, like even in public, with a huge bottle of water. And their mission is to finish all of it every single day. If not, I don't know, I guess they, they fail their mission. Some people, they need to watch one episode of K-drama every single day, right? Our moms do that all the time. Yeah, moms. Oh, happy moms. It's their stress reliever. After a long day, I guess they like watching K-drama. I watch other stuff. You guys watch K-drama stuff? Really? Uh, I'm not into K-drama. So too lovey-dovey. <laughs> no, I need violence. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Some people drink vegetable smoothie every single day. <laughs> Ellie's like, soda? No, some people drink green smoothie every single day. Sometimes they even go to a, what is it, like a, there's a special shop where they only have like, green smoothies. And they drink it every single day. I don't know, that's what he does. Some people have their daily beauty routine, right? <laughs> Girls do that. I don't know why, but she uses pickles. Pickles on the face. Ugh. Pickles. She puts pickles on his face. I don't know why. Some people put, I don't know, lotion on their face. Face mask. I don't do any of that. Olive oil, <laughs> vegetable oil, <laughs> mayonnaise. <laughs> yeah, it works. Try it out. What else? Some people do their, their daily cello practice every single day. Or their daily selfie every single day. Right? Some people take selfie every single day and then they do a time lapse video. And then it's from young all the way to old. You could see it. In this person's case, cello practice every single day. Well, worse, what, what do we need to do every single day? What's our daily portion? 
Moving on. Right? There's stuff we need to do. What do we do? Right? What should I do today? Sense of accomplishment. Woohoo! Right? This month we learned there's different missions. Remember your homework assignments this entire month? There was give help. Did you help someone today? Right? I, I always help my, like the cleaning lady, throw the garbage away. Right? Even during lunchtime. Easy. I, I help throw away the lunch. Even though we don't have to. What else? There's our daily reading. Reading about famous people like this person is doing. Or their daily studies and homework. Did you guys finish your homework assignments? Right? Yeah, we have homework and then we have school assignments. Yeah, just get it done ahead of time. Don't do it last minute. Sometimes you do have to do it last minute. Right, there's daily, uh, your skills, right, your skills and talents. In this person's case, cello again. <laughs> the windows break. Somebody was playing, was it, trumpet solo? It was one of our remnants. Oh my gosh, it was so beautiful that I wanted to cover my ears. And there's our daily summit activities, right? Let's review, right? There's different ways to help people. That's Paul, all right? There's uh, sharing, there's giving gifts, helping the homeless, giving a compliment. There's uh, helping your, with chores, holding the door open. What else? Uh, there's uh, putting the shopping carts back, right? doing a thank you note, greeting people. Right, many people greet, hello, hi, even in public. There's a calling somebody, checking in with them, right? Letting someone cut you in line. Uh, compliments. What else is there? Uh, helping set up the table. Positive messages. Helping someone tie their shoes. Gifts. Sharing again, inviting someone to play, right? Those are different ways. And there's also reading, right? Our, our reading. Hey, no, no, no jumping in the library, right? There's nonfiction autobiographies, biographies, right? Focus on nonfiction books, not Harry Potter, Pikachu, Pokemon, fiction stuff. Focus on the nonfiction stuff, right? Collections of biographies. You could also want, uh, read it online. And then there's stuff we could do at school, like this wimpy kid. Right? Our studies into action. There's homework, there's math, right? there's science, there's language arts. These are just basics, right? Art, history, social studies, the basics, physical education. There's reading, writing, there's history. There's science. Science. Why is his skin color different here? <laughs> science fact. Math, right? Please tell me you know how to add and subtract at least. Yes. Right, there's PE. What else can we do? There's our, our hobbies, right? Some people's hobby is to study, I don't know, bowling, and they watch bowling videos. Right? What's your, what's your talent? Some people really like origami, so they do origami. Right? Practice little talents and hobbies. Pastor Yu? Fishing. What else? Sports. Hunting. I love hunting videos. There's, uh, I don't know, there's beauty, there's makeup, there's video game, flower arranging. You guys into flowers, y'all? Somebody really likes insects, right? And he's going to be a future insect doctor. There's baking, card games, metal detecting. What? You go to the beach and do metal detecting? Beep, 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 <gasps> Treasure. Parkour. Somebody like parkour, right? There's different hobbies. What's your hobby? Learn and practice your hobbies, right? Okay, now here's even more important stuff you could do on your own for spiritual summit, spiritual activity. 
messages, right? Did you guys listen to all the headquarters messages this week? Come on, y'all. Easy. I did. Uh, there's prayer journal. Did you guys get your new prayer journals? You got your June prayer journal? You got yours, Benji? Yeah, there's evangelism, your daily word, prayer, evangelism, praise, fellowship, offering, planning, summit activity. In other words, everything on your checklist, right? Focus on the stuff on your checklist. Don't think this is other stuff in addition to checklist. No, 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 no. Everything's on your checklist. Just focus on your checklist, okay? Everything in the checklist is what we go over. Okay, now to review what we learned on Sunday, answers in advance. Paul goes to Ephesus, and he meets a bunch of disciples, and he asks, did you receive the Holy Spirit yet? And they're like, what? I didn't even know there was something called the Holy Spirit. Then, and then Paul, answer yourself. What baptism did you receive? The baptism of Coca-Cola? The baptism of water? The baptism of Kool-Aid? What kind of baptism do you want? Baptism of mud? No, the baptism. So they're like, no, John's baptism, which is just water, which is forgiveness and repentance. And then Paul explains, hey, John's baptism was just a baptism of repentance, like forgiveness of sins. But John talked about who, someone who was going to come after him. Holy Spirit baptism, spiritual baptism. So John's baptism is just sanctification, right? The life of a child of God. We got to live a life of a classy child of God. But John was talking about, or Jesus, Jesus' baptism is justification. That's, that has to do with salvation. God chose you, right? Sanctification, justification. God chose us. And then what we need to do. So Paul gathered up the troops. I think there was about 12 disciples in total. And when they heard this, they were all baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Paul placed their, his hands on them, and then they received the Holy Spirit. Right? They received the Holy Spirit just like we did, and they began to, to prophesy, speaking in tongues. And the forces of darkness were crumbled. Now Paul, as his custom was, he went into the synagogue, persuading and teaching about the kingdom of God. For three months, three months, boldly, for, for three months, arguing about the kingdom of God. He was so passionate. Look at him. Doom, doom. All right, now some people became... Uh, that's another word for obstinate. They refuse it. Right? They refuse to believe and they publicly made fun of the way. Spoke badly about what the gospel Paul was talking about. So Paul was like, you know what? I have I had enough of this. Maybe this is God telling me to go somewhere else. So he left. He gathered up the disciples and said, let's go. So they went to somewhere called... You guys know what? Remember the name of this place? It starts with a T. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Ty Tyrannus Hall. Tyrannosaurus Rex Hall. And there he is. For two years, he did disciple ministry here. And many Greeks and Jews all over Asia heard the word of the Lord. Wow. It's the word of the Lord, which is Jesus the Christ. Now, Paul, it was to the point that even aprons and handkerchief that Paul touched was brought to the sick and demon-possessed, and they were healed. Remember that story? Let's review. Handkerchief, aprons that Paul touched, went to and touched the demon-possessed people or sick, and they were better. So now, what do these stooges do? Who are these stooges? The seven sons of Sceva, SSS. The seven sons of Sceva were doing the same thing. In the name of the Lord Jesus, whom Paul preaches, I command you to come out. And did it work? Yeah. It did work because that's the power of the name of Jesus, even when non believers say it. 
Whoa, it worked. Let's try it again. We could, we could make a business out of this. So they did. Incorrect motive, huh? One time they were called to this home. And this time they thought, oh, easy. Easy. Uh, okay, things look a little different here. To some of the sons of Sceva, I command you in the name of Jesus, whom Paul preaches, to come out. But the evil spirit knew and said, okay, I know who Jesus is. And I know who Paul is, but who are you? Who? Uh, how come it didn't work, guys? And then... It was, it, they gave him such a bad beating that they were running out of the house butt naked, bleeding, bruised. And rumor and news of this spread throughout. So all the Greeks and Jews, they heard about this incident, and people were in fear, and they lifted up the name of Jesus. People came out and openly confessed the sins that they did or committed, and people who were practicing sorcery and magic, they brought their scrolls, their magic scrolls, and burned them, and it came out to be... 50,000 silver coins, which is like $3 million, more than $3 million. It's a lot of money. So Paul went to the synagogues, God's kingdom, word movement, destroyed idols, right? That's Jesus healing, y'all. Word of God grew mightily. And continue. Now the answer that Paul sees in advance is Rome, and that's what we're going to be focusing on this month, Rome. It was a riot, right? There was this dude named Demetrius who was building idols of Artemis the Great. Great. And there was a riot. They even took Gaius and Aristarchus, Paul's disciples, and into the amphitheater. Now, Paul wanted to go out and speak to the angry crowd, but somebody persuaded him not to. It's too dangerous. So Paul left, greeted the Deacon James and the elders in Jerusalem. And then while he was in Jerusalem, people found out that he was there. So there was another riot with another mob, and they actually beat him up. They beat him up. Now some, I think it was Roman, or Greek. So, so some soldiers came and they, wait, are you a Roman citizen? Yes, I am. <gasps> so they weren't even allowed to beat them up if, if, without a trial. So he was protected in prison. They put him in prison to protect him. And then brought him on trial. And then, remember that incident? Paul's like, why you strike me? And then Paul said, I'm a Pharisee, but there was also Sadducees in the court. So Pharisees and Sadducees, they always disagree with each other, so they were, now they're fighting. And then Paul had to be put in prison back again. And eventually the Spirit of the Lord came to Paul and said, just like you testified about me here, you will go testify in Rome. So eventually he was put on the prison ship. And then remember there was a storm? Oh, and then the angel appeared to Paul and said, hey, don't worry about it. I'll save. All the lives on the ship will be saved because you need to stand trial before Caesar. Now, do you know what happened to the ship? It was destroyed. But then everybody survived, and they ended up on this island. And then while they were on the island, there were some people making a fire. And then... They were warming their hands by the fire, and do you know what happened? There was a venomous snake, and the snake bit Paul's hand. And all the people on the island are watching. Okay, any second now, Paul's going to die. But do you know what Paul did? He got the snake, he shook it off on top of the fire, and then he was fine. So did poison kill Paul? No. Why? Because he had to send trial before Caesar. Maybe we'll learn that story this Sunday. 
make maybe next Sunday. And with that in mind, Jesus life, Jesus power, Jesus healing, Jesus witness. Platform watch our antenna. Homework. Homework this week was your daily portion. So we we talked about a bunch of stuff in our daily to do, right? Mostly checklist, right? So focus on the items on the checklist. Not because it's homework, but because it's for spiritual summit, right? Your summit time. For world evangelization, right? So there was giving help, reading, messages, your studies, academics, your hobby, right? Why do you have to do what you got to do for the sake of? World evangelization, evangelism missions, W, E, M, E, we me, for we me. All right, let us pray for Romania and Ireland. It looks like there's six different colors, huh? Let us pray for these two nations. Ready? Three, two, one. Dear God, may you bless Romania and Ireland so that the gospel may enter and revive these nations. May disciples arise, shine the light of the gospel, and establish your kingdom there. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Dear God, may you bless our precious remnants. Uh, help us to do our daily 393 portion for the sake of world evangelization and to be prepared as a spiritual summit. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.